calculator to actually calculate them. But at this moment, why don't you stop the video and just hit the pause button and go ahead and work these five questions to check your knowledge of these probability type questions that we've been working on. Okay, so you've come back after you've paused and you've got your answers. Let's see how we would do these three problems. Picking six cards from a deck, what is the probability to exactly three spades? You know, we do a lot from card decks, but this could be picking anything out of anything. So all we're really doing is counting how we pick, and we're going to use our combinatorics to do it. So the first one, three spades. Well, there are 13 spades in the deck, and we don't care about the order, so it's NCR3, 13 NCR3, times, well, let's see, we have to count for all of our cards, and we have six cards. This is three of them out of the spades, so we're obviously picking the other three out of something else. And if there are 13 spades, there are 39 other cards that aren't spades, and that's where we're picking the other three. So three from the spades, three distinctly from the non-spades, and then the total on the bottom would be 52 NCR6. And we're going to note the symmetries once again. Three cards here, three cards here adds up to our total of six. 13 plus 39 is 52. And what we're doing is using our basic law of probability. We're counting all the possible six card hands here. Six cards chosen with no concern about it order, so we use NCR rather than NPR. Six cards chosen out of 52 is all the possible six card hands on the bottom. And on top, we're counting the number of ways of getting six card hands, where three are from the spades, three are from the other cards. Now exactly four spades is going to be the same thing. 52 and CR6 on the bottom won't change, but now we're going to change how we select them. So 13 NCR, 39 NCR, we're going to switch this a little bit. We're going to pick four from the spades compared to two from the non-spades. Exactly two aces. Once again, a real easy question. 52 NCR6 on the bottom. Well, there aren't, aren't 13 aces, right? There's four aces. So we're going to pick two from the aces, and then if we're picking six cards, we need four more cards accounted for. And what do they come from? Well, all the cards that aren't aces. And if there are four aces in the deck, then there are obviously 48 non-aces. And let's examine the symmetry. Four plus 48 is 52. Two plus four is six. So we're always going to have that kind of a, a thing to do. Now to show to actually calculate that on the calculator, turn the calculator on. Move it down so the screen is more easily visible. Although you may not see all the numbers I push, but, but that'll be all right. Now we have to enter the first number first. So I type 13 and I push math and I move to the probability button. NCR, 13 NCR3 times 39, repeating the same prob process, math, probability, NCR3, divided by 52, math, probability, NCR, 52 NCR 6. So you can, if you have to review that on the video, that'll be fine. So let's check and see what we've got what we want. 13 choose 3 times. Always a multiply here. I've seen a lot of pluses over the years on test, and we really must have a multiply. 13 choose 3, 39 choose 3, 52 choose 6. We've got what we want. We hit enter. Number 0.128. Now to show the quick way of moving on to another type of calculation like this, I do second enter. I'll go back and change these numbers. Second enter is second entry. It pulls up your previous entry and allows you to re-work re, uh, re with it again. Saves me a little time in typing new numbers in, because the only thing I have to change is the 3 to a 4 and the other 3 to a 2. Now I get my next answer. So I'm not as likely to get 4 spades. 0 0.026 is my answer there. 2 aces. Okay, now we got to do a few other changes as well. Instead of four here, I'm gonna, 13 here, I'm going to put a 4. Delete, 4 choose 2, 48 choose 4, the bottom stays the same, and just that quick I get the probability of getting 2 aces of 0.057. So I'm more likely to get 2 aces than 4 spades it looks like. Now expected value is not a probability, expected number of spades. Each card, 13 spades available out of 52, and we simply multiply the probability times the number. It's kind of the payoff is sometimes used in expected value. And we're picking six cards, so six times 13 over 52, you can do the arithmetic on that. Expected number of aces, well there are four aces out of 52, so that's the probability for each card, times six, 24 over 52. We don't even expect a full ace, so I guess I'll go ahead and do these numbers for you, and we get 0.46, so a little less than one ace, than half an ace per time compared to 6 times 13 divided by 52. 
1.5 spades. So we expect to get one and a half spades each time. Now you can't get one and a half spades. You're either going to get one or two, but on average, over long periods of time, you'd get one and a half, 0.461 aces, one and a half spades. Thank you for watching this video.